Are you ready to buy a home? There's a lot to consider before selecting the right one. There's so much information to consider and potential confusion. Stay tuned. I'll be right back with three tips to help you clear up that confusion. Hi there, it's me, Stefan Burchard, the Desert Bowtie Realtor here in the Palm Springs area. If this is your first time to this channel and you want to learn all about real estate in the Palm Springs area, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget the little bell so you'll be notified every time I do a new video. Picking out a new home can be exciting and terrifying at the same time. How do you choose the best location? What if the house has problems you can't afford to fix? What's the tiebreaker if you love two places equally? The first and only way to begin the decision-making process is to grab a calculator. A dream home becomes a nightmare the moment you can't afford it or if it needs work in which you don't have the resources. For instance, a house with vaulted ceilings costs more than a house with low ceilings. And a house with a pool means you have to pay to maintain it properly. These are extra factors that can add up in your budget. So let's consider three practical tips to help you decide. Number one, renovation potential. Or can this be turned into our perfect home? Please consider, don't overestimate your abilities. If it needs improvement, do you have the resources or the skills necessary to improve the home? Don't overestimate its potential. Figure out whether the renovations are worth the time and expense, meaning after renovation value. Think twice if the kitchen needs re renovating. These are expensive and unlike most other rooms in the house, you don't have a spare kitchen to use while that one's under construction. Remodeling can also put a huge strain on your relationships. Delve beyond the obvious. Buyers tend to be romanced by pretty and clean, but you're not buying pretty and clean. What else does the house need for it to work for you? Those other things can be expensive. Pretend you're living there. Try out all the appliances and gadgets and gizmos in the house to make sure it's something that works for you. Don't just look at it and say, isn't that cool? Check it out. Another tip, hire an inspector. This kind of goes without saying, duh. Think long-term. Americans move on average every six years, but they look to stay in a home for 15. Will this house stand the test of time and the changes that will occur in your lifetime? Think ahead. Tip number two, size and storage. The house should be big enough for the unexpected. If you're a couple with one child, you may think all you need is a two bedroom house. However, you may decide to have another child or discover you need one of those bedrooms for a home office for a remote job in the future. When possible, buy with the anticipation of growth. Also plan for where you're gonna place the furniture to see if it will all fit. There are lots of mobile apps and computer apps that can help you plan accordingly. Don't forget your non-furniture needs. For example, storage. When buyers are house hunting, they tend to forget all the belongings they've crammed into their attics, basements, garages, and sheds. Count the kitchen cabinets. Does the new kitchen match your old one in pantry space? Think about how you use the space. Are there enough rooms? Is there enough room for extra items and storage? Is the kitchen big enough for gatherings? Don't forget the garage. Older garages are smaller and don't allow for bigger cars or storage. Tip number three, the neighborhood. Establish priorities for what should be within a close proximity to the house. If you're used to talking with neighbors over the fence, walking together for exercise, or meeting at the local coffee shop, Make sure to see if your new neighborhood will offer you some of these same perks. Study other homes in the neighborhood. If you want your property values to go up, it's actually better to buy the worst house in a great neighborhood and improve it than to choose the best house on the block. Spend some time in the neighborhood to get a sense of its community. A surprising study by Harvard Political Science, Robert Putnam, found that the more you have in common with your neighbors, the more likely everyone is to feel a connection to the community. And consider the local economy. The condition of a local economy can make or break a move. How about a bonus tip? Place less weight on these following bells and whistles. Don't get enticed by granite. Attractive features like granite make it easy to overlook less appealing qualities. Be discerning. Is the rest of the room just as attractive? Are the cabinets in good shape? What about the appliances? Beware of bathrooms. Don't let a luxurious toilet steal your heart. Yes, I said that. For example, a double sink 
in a primary bedroom is very useful, especially if you have two working adults getting ready at the same time every day. Think about what's practical instead of what's pretty. Forget the decor. The furniture, furnishings, and decor is most likely going with the sellers. Things like drapes, blinds, light fixtures, if you like them, should be included in the purchase contract. And now for something lighthearted. When it comes to carpeting, 90% of people hate carpeting. The other 10% hate your carpeting. <laughs> That's it for today. If you're thinking about buying or selling in the Palm Springs region, please give me a call, text, or email. All my information is below. Don't forget to like, comment, and share my video. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Don't forget the little bell so you'll be notified of my next video. And now I'll see you on my next video about mid-century homes in the Palm Springs area.